Hello everybody, welcome back to the ASUS YouTube page. This is JJ once again. Um, we've been talking about Z77 now for a couple of different videos and today we're bringing you something very special. So as we've uh, discussed and actually our overview and our outline of the different Z77 boards that we're bringing to the market, one of the special boards that we have as part of our series is the ASUS C77WS board. Um, what really makes this board stand out is of course its implementation of a PLX chip, specifically a PLX Gen 3 chip, which allows us to have the capability of running multiple GPUs. So as you see right over here, what do we have? We've got three GTX 680 graphics cards, where normally the Z77 chipset would be limited to only supporting uh, two-way configurations, whether it's Crossfire or SLI. Uh, with this board, we actually have the capability of running three-way and even actually four-way configurations. So uh, we've been able to take some of these very exclusive cards, get them prepared together, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through a little bit of a performance overview and an SLI showcase to let you guys see what uh, one, two, and three cards in reference to the 680 uh, looks like in terms of performance for the Z77 chipset. So now that we've gone ahead and covered that, let's go ahead and actually uh, jump over to getting these guys installed into our system. Alright everybody, so as you can see, we've gone ahead and, and successfully installed our three GTX 680s onto our P8Z77WS motherboard. So we've got three-way SLI fully enabled. Now we do want to go ahead and make a very large preface uh, at this point, is that um, right now we're actually shooting this video a bit before the actual embargo date, although this is going to be coming to you um, actually during the formal launch and the embargo date release for the Z77 chipset. Um, but due to time constraints, we haven't had the opportunity to receive the latest uh, drivers for these actual GTX 680 cards, as well as the latest uh, UEFI and PLX firmware. Um, so actually expect performance to actually be increased by I'd say approximately maybe uh, five to about 8%, potentially maybe even a little bit more than that. Uh, so overall, the performance is gonna be very, very good and you're gonna see scaling results. Keep in mind that this essentially is all running beta software uh, in some form, uh, whether it's relative to the drivers, uh, to the firmware, or to the UEFI. So keep that in mind. If we have the opportunity and we have the hardware at hand uh, during the launch time frame, we'll do our best to make sure to get you updated results, okay? So moving forward with that, as always, we want to give you guys the opportunity to know what we're actually running here in our testbed setup. So we can see here we've got actually our fully enabled three-way setup. So first and foremost, we've got our P8Z67WS uh, motherboard. So this is our only uh, multi-GPU in terms of three-way and four-way supported Z77 board that we're going to have as part of ASUS's product line. Uh, in addition to that, of course, we've got uh, three of the ASUS GTX uh, 680 graphics cards. We're then running uh, four DIMMs from Kingston from their HyperX line of memory. This is actually their DDR3 2400 modules, so it's very high performance kit. We then also have a Kingston HyperX 120 gigabyte SSD in terms of our storage. For the actual power from the system, we can see right here we've got Antex 1200 watt uh, high current pro series. So this is actually their gold series, 90% power efficiency. It's a fantastic PSU to go ahead and make sure we have enough power, uh, high quality uh, reliability in terms of what we're doing here. And it's even giving us the opportunity that with this being a four way capable board, if we were gonna go ahead and add in another GPU, we'd still have sufficient power as well as cabling to go ahead and enable a four way connection for this. In terms of the cooling, uh, we're tapping uh, Antex Cooler 920. So this is fully supported, of course, of working with the new Z77 chipset and the Ivy Bridge or third generation core series processors. I got 220 millimeter fans mounted there taking care of the cooling. Uh, we're then running the 3770K uh, Intel CPU for the Sandy Bridge part. As of right now, everything is running in a stock configuration. And then lastly here, in terms of the chassis itself, we've got uh, the Antec 1100 chassis, which is a great chassis to consider, especially when you're going with multiple GPUs, because you've got the room, additional expansion opportunity with it, and a lot of airflow to go ahead and keep those GPUs nice and cool. So that gives you a little bit of an overview regarding what we have here for our test bed. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and jump onto our desktop. So from here, we're gonna actually take a look at the performance numbers uh, for Aliens versus Predator first for a single card and for two-way SLI. And you can see here for one single card at 2560 by 1440, the native resolution here for our upcoming QHD panel, we have approximately 57 frames. Okay, moving over to run two. Okay. 
you can see that we have a really nice level of scaling increase in regards to SLI. So we're going from essentially 57, 58 frames here to 104, 105 frames here uh, for one way to then two way configurations. Now, as we noted, we got three cards in here. So we're going to go ahead and actually jump into Aliens versus Predator 3. And uh, we're actually going to go ahead and enable a little known feature that's actually called the SLI Visualizer. Um, and I'll show you actually this option in the control panel so you can see what this actually looks like. But the cool thing about this feature is it's, an, uh, it's a software option that NVIDIA has incorporated into their drivers that allows you to go ahead and see how the actual scaling is occurring across multiple GPUs. So we're just going to go ahead and right click, go to the NVIDIA control panel. Once we go to the NVIDIA control panel, we're just going to go over here to the top uh, and select uh, Crossfire SLI. So as you can see, we have three-way SLI enabled. And we're just going to go to 3D settings. And we have an option right there to show SLI visual indicator. So we've got that checked off. And you can see right there that the actual indicator has already gone ahead and embedded itself onto the left-hand side of the monitor. And it's indicating to us that essentially it's taking about as much advantage of the three GPUs currently that it can. Uh, and, you know, in, realistic best best case uh, conditions and with the game developers putting much of a, as much effort as possible your game engine is going to give you somewhere between about 75 to potentially about 85 maybe even 90 percent scaling under the best case scenarios which AVP falls into pretty much one of the best candidates on the market to really show you the potential for SLI so that's hence why you can see that the actual bars are pretty much almost peaking out uh, of course, for games that uh, they're still maybe uh, redeveloping the game engine, they're updating the driver stack, they're doing other things, you're going to see that squish down a bit. So we'll go ahead and let it finish through here, and then we'll take a look at the numbers. Okay, Alien vs. Predator has gone ahead and finished up its run, so we'll go ahead and bring back up our run 1, run 2, and we're going to go ahead and jump over into the Documents folder and take a look at run 3. And we can see we have had another really healthy jump in terms of the overall performance. So we started off once again at about uh, 58 frames, then about 104, 105 frames, and now essentially 155 frames. So really healthy scaling that we're seeing overall. And keep in mind, like I noted before, with essentially a beta driver stack, beta UEFI, beta firmware, we're still getting really impressive results that are not only going to get better uh, as they continue to mature and refine these drivers closer towards the launch and after the launch as well. So from here, we want to go ahead and take a look at another game engine. And we're going to take a look at uh, Crisis 2 with the high resolution uh, texture pack as well as the DirectX 11 texture pack and uh, see what the performance scaling was looking like with one card. Uh, then once again with two cards and SLI. And then we'll go ahead and complete a run with three-way and see what that gets us. And uh, here we can see that uh, with one run, it's approximately about 39, 40, and then about 40. So approximately about 40 frames was achieved uh, with actually run, uh, run one in the three different actually maps that are offered within the benchmark tool. And we ran that at 2560 uh, by 1440 with two times AA, um, edge anti-aliasing and the high resolution texture map and pretty much all options set to maximum. So that's really actually outstanding performance when you consider that was already on one single GPU that we're able to run actually consistently over 30 frames as far as our average. So very impressive in terms of the efficiency and performance that that 680 is giving us on this platform. But um, moving a little bit further, taking it to the next level, let's take a look at uh, two cards. And with two cards, we have a nice jump up to 71, 67, and then 74. Of course, keep in mind that with the GPU boost technology that the GPU has, you're going to see a little bit of variance, sometimes more so from run to run. Um, but in, uh, in average, I would say you're going to be looking at about 70 frames. So still a very healthy uptick uh, compared to run one. 
that we had with one single card. And from here, we're going to go ahead and actually jump over and take a look at three cards and see what the performance is going to offer us. Okay, so we've gone ahead and finished up the three-way uh, SLI results here on our P8Z77WS. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what we have here. And we have uh, 86.4, 85.8, and 93.8. So uh, a, a still a consistent, nice, healthy increase compared to the actual two-way results. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at those here quickly. So we can see here we've got uh, 71, 67, and 74, and jumping over to 86, 85, and 93. So still definitely a healthy increase, but like I said, keep in mind that you know we are running a beta stack, and we're definitely going to continue to see improvements uh, from NVIDIA as well as from us in regards to that PLX firmware. And um, for the actual launch date when you guys are picking this up, I definitely would expect that you'll be very solid. But um, one interesting thing that we might do here at this point is that on this platform, compared to actually the X79 platform, where there's inherently a bit more horsepower, additional cores that really begin to shine under multi-GP configurations, you might take actually a look and see what performance is going to look like if we add a little bit more clock frequency to this and see if we're maybe having a little bit of a bottleneck regarding the CPU frequency relative to the actual multiple GPUs that we're running in the platform. Um, but with that, that takes care of our initial uh, performance showcase showing you scaling from one card all the way up to three cards on our P8Z77WS. So as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, make sure to drop them on our YouTube page or make sure to hit us up at our social uh, media channels at either Facebook or Twitter. So thank you.